How do I assuage concerns about working in the healthcare industry amidst the ongoing coronavirus outbreak with my parents? I live with my parents, and I work in the healthcare industry. I'd like to continue working in the healthcare industry, however there are some issues that I have trouble resolving. Specifically, assuaging my parents' fears of contracting coronavirus in the workplace. A common fear that they share is that people working in the healthcare industry often face a high risk of being exposed to coronavirus. This issue is exacerbated because, I have a customer-facing job, which only heightens my parents' fears. I work part-time, so simply, self-quarantining myself or taking time off work isn't an option. I have a good working relationship with my peers and my boss, and I don't want to quit, I don't want to burn bridges. I work in an area that already has multiple cases of people contracted with coronavirus. Essentially, I have a hard time convincing my parents that I'd like to continue working in the healthcare industry, especially in this current job, at the moment, despite the coronavirus outbreak. When I start and end conversations them, it always ends with the underlying fear that something may happen, or something will happen soon. How can I assuage my parents' fears, especially as they work in jobs that allow them to self-quarantine themselves, and still be able to work in the job I want to work? My parents do acknowledge that coronavirus is not the only one thing one can get in the workplace, but given that the known symptoms of corona match up with the flu, and given it is flu season around this time, it doesn't help to calm them down. I worked in healthcare settings for around nine years. Unfortunately, getting exposed to disease is an occupational hazard in that environment. A lot of this answer depends on your parents' fears and their reaction to them. Either they aren't reasonable WRT their fears, or they are. I'll try to answer both perspectives. If they aren't reasonable, there's no amount of convincing that you can do. That's part of being unreasonable. In this case, with people, I've just said, I love this job and I'm helping the sick. Every day. Being exposed is just part of the risk I accept when I come to work, don't argue, don't try to convince, don't say anything more. Let your passion for your calling in life be the answer to unreasonable fears. For people that are more reasonable, then you can talk about infection control. There I've said things like, this is just one of many things I risk exposure to every day. The facility does containment of communicable diseases and does it well, the most effective thing to do is to wash my hands and I do that often. Yes, something may happen but do you want to know the statistically riskiest part of my job? It's the commute to work. I stand a lot worse chance of dying in a traffic accident on the way to work than from this particular virus. Look it up, death in an auto accident, at least in the US, is much more common than other forms of premature death. One source is here, https colon slash slash en dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash motor underscore vehicle underscore fatality underscore rate underscore in underscore u dot s dot underscore by underscore year closing parenthesis. Either way, those of us who work or have worked in a healthcare setting take on this risk on a regular basis. I know I was sick more often when I worked in the hospital, it can't be helped when you're around sick people. But that was all colds, it wasn't anything serious TB, flu, SARS, etc. The key here, especially with the panic going on, is for us as professionals to stay calm. Let others see how calm you are and derive strength from you.